NFL touchdown celebrations are truly a work of art. You gotta love it when a player and his teammates put together something unique, hilarious, and creative after finding the end zone for six. That said, we have also seen some NFL quarterbacks experience a celebration mishap here and there. Be it a failed spike, a mistimed jump, or something else. Several QBs have provided us with some great laughter thanks to a failed touchdown sally. Before we dive into the top 10, we have one honorable mention that's not from the NFL, but we just had to include it. Honorable mention, Kerwin Bell's painful spike. Many of you probably know Kerwin Bell best as the former Jacksonville Dolphins and Valdosta State Blazers head coach who later joined the coaching staffs of the University of South Florida Bulls and the Florida Gators. But long before his NCAA coaching career, Bell was a CFL quarterback who played for Edmonton, Toronto, and Winnipeg. Bell's entire CFL career, however, is best remembered for one horrifyingly embarrassing touchdown celebration. During a 2000 home game against the Blue Bombers, Bell scored a rushing touchdown for the Argonauts and proceeded to give one of the most painful celebrations of all time. We're guessing Bell never attempted to celebrate with a ball spike again. An honorable mention that had to be included on this list. Now, we move on to the top 10 failed celebrations for strictly NFL quarterbacks. Number 10, Russell Wilson late to the party. The Seattle Seahawks have created one of the most fun-loving, entertaining, and easygoing cultures under GM John Schneider and head coach Pete Carroll. Love or hate the Seahawks, you have to admire all the personalities on this team. All of this is typically on display during the Seahawks' epic touchdown celebrations, and there have been many of them in the Russell Wilson era. Take, for instance, the Seahawks Week 13 2019 Monday Night Football home game against the Minnesota Vikings. In the waning seconds of the third quarter, Quarter, Wilson found a wide open David Moore downfield for an easy 60 yard touchdown to increase the Seattle lead. The Seahawks then proceeded to perform perhaps the best TD celebration of 2020. It was all going perfectly fine, but Wilson joined the party a bit late and couldn't get his dance moves in sync with his teammates. I guess when you have all the responsibilities of a quarterback, you don't have much time to practice your moves with the other position players. Number 9. Matt Stafford can't finish the spike. Detroit Lions quarterback Matthew Stafford will go down as one of the best pure pocket passers of his era. But one thing he's never been known for is his speed and mobility. But still, even the slowest quarterbacks in the league have to scramble once in a while, if none of their receivers are open and they're trying to escape the pressure. Or sometimes, because absolutely no one is expecting them to run it, they may see a clear path to the end zone and have to take it. During the Lions' Week 14 home game against the Chicago Bears in 2016, Stafford pulled off perhaps the greatest rushing play of his career. Trailing by four points late in the fourth quarter, he evaded pressure and maneuvered his way into the end zone to put the Lions ahead. It was a great run, and in an extremely clutch play and all, but Stafford couldn't really put the cherry on top because he totally botched the celebration. Anywho, Stafford's TD held up as the game winner, so who really cares if he botched the spike, right? Number 8. Geno Smith's Rookie Mistake Selly The 2013 NFL Draft will go down as one of the worst in recent memory, especially when it comes to quarterbacks. This class just didn't have any true franchise-changing signal callers whatsoever. Geno Smith was the second QB taken at that draft, 39th overall by the New York Jets. The first was EJ Manuel, who went 16th overall to the Buffalo Bills. Smith has spent the vast majority of his career as a backup. However, he did provide Jets fans with some thrills during his 2013 rookie year. This included a big-time upset win against the powerhouse New England Patriots in Week 7 of the 2013 campaign. Smith completely baffled Bill Belichick's defense all game long. As for his best play of the game, that would be a fancy rushing TD that put the Jets ahead late in the third quarter. The only problem being, of course, that Smith committed a bit of a rookie mistake when he tried spiking the ball in celebration. Hey, it was still a great play, and the Jets went on to win in overtime. Who cares if he botched one simple touchdown celebration? We're used to these types of mishaps from the Jets anyways. Number 7. Kyler Murray's Chest Bump Fail The sophomore slump didn't affect Arizona Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray, who won the 2019 Offensive Rookie of the Year award. Murray has taken his game to an MVP-like level for the Cardinals in 2020, turning them into one of the NFC's top teams. We love practically everything about Murray's game, 
we just have one minor piece of advice. Either never do the chest bump celebration again, or maybe practice it with your teammates first. Why? Because Murray took quite the chest bump from a teammate during a touchdown celebration in their Week 5 2020 road game against the New York Jets, and it sent him crashing to the ground. Jack Coffee Stadium. Kyler Murray, work on that celebration. <laughs> Don't get hurt. On the wall. Oof. Yikes. Cardinals fans were probably holding their breath after that one. The last thing they want is to see their star quarterback become the latest NFL player to injure himself during a celebration. Number six, Jared Goff, Butterfinger Spike. The Los Angeles Rams met the Washington football team in week five of the 2020 season. Rams head coach Sean McVay got sweet revenge against his former team, leading his squad to a blowout 30-10 win at FedEx Field. It wasn't really a memorable regular season game by any means. Just another routine home loss for Dan Snyder's football team. However, Washington fans probably enjoyed a nice little chuckle when Rams quarterback Jared Goff performed one of the absolute worst touchdown spikes of all time. The rain obviously played a factor in that. It almost looked like Goff was trying to throw a fastball rather than trying to spike the ball, doesn't it? Number five, Matt Castle goes flying. Luckily for Matt Castle, this failed TD celebration took place during a 2012 preseason game, so it's not particularly remembered all that well. After throwing a touchdown against the Seattle Seahawks, Castle ran into the end zone and attempted to jump into the group celebration, but he completely botched his leap and landed on the ground instead. Don't worry, Matt. You'll get him next time. Number four, Carson Palmer tumbles after spike fail. The powerhouse Arizona Cardinals visited the San Francisco 49ers in week 12 of the 2015 season. This should have gone down in history as your typical NFC West showdown, but we're gonna remember it for a different reason that doesn't have anything to do with the scoreboard. The game was tied 13 apiece with two and a half minutes to go. Facing a second and goal situation, Cardinals quarterback Carson Palmer, who wasn't exactly known for his speed, tucked the ball and ran straight into the end zone for a touchdown. Palmer, of course, rarely got to celebrate rushing touchdowns during his career, and that one came at a huge time. So you can understand why he'd be so fired up. Too bad the ensuing celebration didn't go as planned. Not only did he fail to perform a routine spike, but Palmer somehow lost his footing while doing it. At any rate, his touchdown held up as the game winner. Some quick fun facts for you though. That was one of eight career rushing touchdowns for Palmer, and it was his only one with the Cardinals. It also happened to be the final rushing score of his career. I'm guessing he was reluctant to score any more touchdowns after this brutal celebration. Number three, Ryan Tannehill, how not to leap. Ryan Tannehill has given the Tennessee Titans more than they could have imagined when they acquired him via trade with the Miami Dolphins. All he's done is earn 2019 Comeback Player of the Year honors while playing at a Pro Bowl level and leading Tennessee to the AFC Championship game. What more could they ask for? The answer, not a whole lot. Although we wouldn't be surprised if head coach Mike Vrabel gave Tannehill a lesson or two on how to better celebrate his rushing touchdowns. As he is running into the end zone against the Buffalo Bills in week five of the 2020 season, Tannehill decided to celebrate with a leap over the goal line. What should have been a routine celebration instead led to some comic relief. The pressure's coming, he breaks away. He's got room to run, he's inside the 10 to the five. Hey, keep on trucking, Ryan. You'll get it next time. Number two, Matt Hasselbeck misses the pile. Before he became the Seattle Seahawks starting quarterback, Matt Hasselbeck was a backup for Brett Favre and the Green Bay Packers for two years. Hasselbeck only attempted 29 passes in a Green Bay uniform, totaling 145 yards and two touchdowns. Not the most memorable tenure as a Packer, but Hasselbeck did provide one timeless moment that we shall never forget during the Packers' Week 15 Monday Night Football road game against the Minnesota Vikings. In the fourth quarter, the Packers ran a fake field goal, and it worked to perfection, with Hasselbeck tossing a touchdown pass to Jeff Thomason. As the Packers began to celebrate, Hasselbeck sprinted and attempted to jump into the pile. Instead, he looked like a WWE superstar attempting to jump off the top ropes. Whoops. <laughs> Number one, Gus Farratt never headbutt a wall. Gus Farratt had a solid career as a journeyman quarterback. He earned a Pro Bowl selection with Washington in 1996. He led the Detroit Lions to the playoffs in 1999 and helped the Minnesota Vikings win the NFC North in 2008. But Farratt, for better or for worse, will be best remembered for performing one of the most painful and humiliating touchdown celebrations of all time. 
for Rotten Washington visited the New York Giants in week 13 of the 1997 season. After scoring on a one-yard run, Farad slammed the ball into the ground and headbutted a padded concrete wall in the back of the end zone. Farad wound up spraining his neck on the play, which caused him to leave the game and head to the hospital. He thankfully avoided serious injury, but Farad should have known that it was never a good idea to headbutt a wall, padded or not. <laughs> Live and learn, my friends. Live and learn. But hey, what other failed NFL quarterback celebrations should we have included on our list? Join us in the comments section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS, though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.